Axioscope A1 Fluorescence Installation. Lift the microscope out of the styrofoam box and set it on the table. Remove the plastic bag from around the microscope and all of the dust plugs. Remove the dust plugs from the binocular photo tube and attach the tube to the upper part of the microscope. Tighten the fastening screw with the ball-headed 3mm screwdriver. Remove the eyepieces from their containers and push them firmly into the eyepiece tubes. Check that the zero position on the eyepiece is aligned with the white dot on the barrel of the eyepiece. If the eyepiece was ordered with a reticle installed, then the zero should be aligned with the red dot. Remove the objectives from their containers and screw them into the nose piece holes in ascending order of magnification. Remove the plastic turret cover from above the nose piece by inserting the ball headed 3mm screwdriver into the hole in the front of the cover. Turn the locking screw counterclockwise and pull the cover out. Lay the reflector turret on the table upside down. Insert each filter cube into its own position by tilting the cube and sliding the plastic tabs on the side of the cube behind the metal clips in the turret. Push the cube into the turret. You should hear it click into place and it should feel tight. Each filter position is numbered from one to four on the inside of the turret. If you install the cube with the Fitzy filter set, for example, in the number one position, when the reflector turret is installed into the microscope, the number one on the front of the housing will let you know that the Fitzy filter set is in position. Slide the reflector turret into the space above the nose piece and turn the locking screw clockwise. It only needs a slight turn. Be careful not to over tighten. Attach the HBO 100 lamp housing to the dovetail mount at the back of the microscope. Tighten the fastening screw with a supplied ball-headed 3mm screwdriver. Connect the cable from the HBO lamp housing to the HBO power supply. Install the adjustment aid for the HBO 100 burner on the right-hand side of the upper part of the microscope. Do this by pulling off the solid cover plate, then insert the adjustment aid, fasten with three screws, and snap on the open cover plate. Install the stage onto the stage carrier with four screws. Attach the condenser carrier to the stage carrier. By driving the condenser carrier down to its lowest position, two screws will be visible which will allow you to fasten the condenser carrier onto the stage carrier. Attach the stage condenser carrier onto the focusing dovetail by engaging the left side first at a slight angle and then pushing the stage condenser carrier straight onto the focusing dovetail. Slightly tighten the thumb screw. Now slide the stage condenser carrier upwards until it rests firmly against the upper limit stop screw marked with a zero on the focusing dovetail. The thumb screw can now be tightened completely. Flip out the top element of the condenser with the right or left lever and insert the condenser into the condenser carrier by slightly tilting the front of the condenser upward and pushing back against the spring-loaded pin until the condenser sits snug in its mount. Turn the condenser alignment screws until they touch the condenser. Do not tighten these screws completely, just until they touch the condenser. Install the 50 watt halogen projector bulb by simply pulling the halogen lamp housing straight back and out of the connectors in the scope. Insert the bulb and push the lamp housing back into the connectors, making sure it is flush with the back of the scope. No alignment is needed. aligning the microscope for color illumination. Switch on the microscope and put a slide on the stage. 
rotate the nose piece so that the 10x objective is in the light path. And with the levers on the condenser, flip in the top element. Open the field and aperture diaphragms fully and adjust the intensity of the light so you can focus on the slide. Slowly close the field diaphragm and observe where the brightest spot of the image is. If the light spot is not in the center of the field, use the two centering screws on the condenser carrier to move the condenser and center the light spot. With the field diaphragm partially closed, observe the edge of the field diaphragm and see if it is in sharp focus. If not, use the focusing knobs on the condenser carrier to focus the condenser up or down so that the edges of the diaphragm appear in focus. Open the field diaphragm so it is just out of the field of view and adjust the aperture diaphragm for contrast by slightly closing it. The scope is now colored. Coloring provides even, uniform illumination as well as proper focus of the condenser. This is essential for good results in bright field, phase contrast, and differential interference contrast. DIC. Installation of the HBO 100 burner and alignment procedure of the burner. Open the locking screws marked with arrows, one on the right side and one on the left side of the HBO lamp housing. Pull the cover straight up. Squeeze the spring lever on the heat sink and remove the heat sink from the black plastic rod. Do not remove the cable from the heat sink. Push down the spring lever on the bottom of the lamp socket and pull the black plastic rod out of the lamp socket. This black rod is not needed for operation, but takes the place of a bulb to allow safe shipping of the lamp. Do not touch the glass part of the burner. You should use gloves or a piece of lens tissue to touch the bulb. If you accidentally do touch the glass, wipe off your fingerprints. Grease from your fingers will compromise the glass and dramatically reduce the bulb life. Insert the HBO 100 burner into the lamp socket by pushing down the spring lever on the lamp socket. Make sure that the writing on the metal sleeve of the burner is upright where the heat sink connects. Squeeze the spring lever on the heat sink and attach to the burner. Slide the cover back over the top and close the locking screws. Switch on the power supply for the HBO 100. Open fully the reflected light field diaphragm, set the fluorescence attenuator to 100%, and make sure the slider next to it is in the open position on the upper part of the microscope. Pull out the adjustment aid, and you should now see two rectangular light spots in the center of a small circle. Focus the collector of the HBO housing by turning the black knob until a sharp image of the rectangular light spot is visible in the circle. Locate the adjustment screw holes on the side of the lamp. These are marked with arrows in the east-west and north-south directions. Insert the three millimeter screwdriver into these screw holes and turn to align the second rectangular light spot. The second light spot you are adjusting with these screws should be parallel to, but not touching the first light spot. Also, both spots should appear to be the same size and both in focus. Push in the adjustment aid, rotate a filter set into the light path, and you are ready to go. The HBO burner should be left on for at least an hour after this initial installation. This will allow the bulb to warm up and reduce flickering in the future. For future use, the HBO only needs about 20 minutes of warm-up time. Avoid turning the HBO on and off within a short time period. If the HBO is to be used more than two times in a day, leave the burner on between uses.